everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Charlotte. I am a full-time paralegal in-house and I'm also studying the LPC part-time with the University of Law. Today's video, I am doing a day in the life and this is definitely a productive day in the life. Not all of my days entail this, but I do my best to keep a good routine. And so to begin with, I try to get up at 5.30 every morning during the week and I do about an hour and a half worth of studying. So at the moment I'm studying business law and introduction to professional practice. I will tend to go through the textbook and make notes in the morning. That's just a nice way to do the pre-reading and then feel like I'm getting ahead at the beginning of the day before I start work, consolidating notes on my iPad. Yeah, I just feel like I get a good head start if I do a bit of a morning session. After this, my partner is now awake so I can head back into the bedroom and I make the bed. I am not precious about making the bed, as you can see. I then hop in the shower and I get ready for the day. So I work from home primarily 100% of the time. I only go into the office if I have really important meetings, mainly due to the fact that it takes away from study time, the commute. So I tend to just work from home and my company is totally flexible. And I definitely find that putting a bit of makeup on and making myself feel like I'm going into the office 100% helps with my attitude towards work. When I do make a bit more of an effort, I just feel like I'm more in the zone and ready to tackle the day. Whereas if I am in slouchy clothes and no makeup, I struggle to motivate myself. So eight o'clock has come around and it is now time for me to log on. I spend the next half an hour, 45 minutes going through my emails. I have actually shifted my work day to 8 a.m. to 4.30 and this is to work around my study time. So because I do finish at 4.30, I find that I get a lot of emails in my inbox while I am not online. So I spend the first half hour, 45 minutes really going through those and seeing what I need to prioritize for the day. I then actually had zero coffee in the flat. So I quickly headed out to my favorite coffee shop to go and pick myself up a nice oat flat white as well as a big bag of coffee. I then really quickly filmed a video for my Instagram which was just a bit of an update video. Um, again it's just good to keep getting a bit of content, content filmed throughout the day as well as filming the vlog. <laughs> 9am came around and I had a team meeting with the support team. So people from HR, finance, recruitment, we all get together and we kind of give each other an update as to what we have on our plate throughout the week and whether we need any extra support from anybody else. This is an incredibly nice, lovely way to set the week apart as we normally have this meeting on a Wednesday and it's just really nice to meet with other people in different teams. Like I said, I work from home. I don't get to interact with people on a daily basis. And this is just really nice to see people, see some friendly faces from different departments and kind of find out what they're up to in the business. It's definitely when you're working in-house, hugely beneficial to know what other departments are up to. I then headed into the kitchen to quickly make some breakfast, which was just some boiled eggs chopped up in a cup. And then onto the second coffee of the day, which is a homemade flat white. <laughs> And here I am showing you said flat white because it just looks so lovely. Next, we move on to a document review. So we are currently negotiating an MSA with a new client in a jurisdiction that we have not ever dealt with before. These negotiations have been going on for a couple of months now. Most MSAs do not take long to sign. They're normally pretty standard. However, because this is a new jurisdiction and a new client, there have been a few issues that we've been working through. And so my job is to make any amendments that I think are relevant and important to us. And then we have also been using external counsel with this. I will do the first draft. I will then send them on to the finance director who will then review. And we then have a call to discuss that. 
and then it goes off to external counsel to have even further review to make sure that we are kind of nailing all of the points that we need to be nailing. It's now my lunch break and I'm doing a little bit of content work. When I have ideas, I really need to get them down. Otherwise, I completely forget them or I just don't action them quick enough. So by just taking the time when I've got lots of things in my brain, it's just super helpful for me to get as much down as I can on my iPad. Also, I was replying to some messages on Instagram and stuff like that. It's just a really nice way, especially when you're working from home, to switch off from work for a little bit and crack on with other stuff that I really enjoy doing. In the afternoon, I had a call with the finance director to go through the MSA that I was amending earlier on in the day. As I said, this MSA has taken up quite a few months and it has been taking up a lot of my daily time. This has been quite a struggle because I haven't been able to do the normal tasks that I are on my to-do list and I would like to be ticking off. However, this is the nature of working in-house. You obviously want to be signing this MSA and this is your priority. You want to sign on the new client. So it just takes up your capacity and you have to be flexible in where your time is allocated. And then when you have your quiet down periods, that is when you can get on with what is on your to-do list. We went through the MSA, the finance director agreed with pretty much everything that I recommended and we then sent that on to external counsel for further comment and review before sending it back over to the client. As I didn't go out at lunchtime, at 4.30 when I finished work, I quickly nipped out for a really quick walk before I started studying again. As you can see, the sun is literally about to set, I just caught it in time and I just really try to make sure that I get out just for a tiny bit during the day. It really helps my brain to just have a moment to switch off before I then start another task. When I came back, I set up my study station. So I turned off my work laptop and put on my personal laptop. I then brought out the notes that I had made on my iPad and my textbook and I carried on with studying for the evening. My partner then came home and he started to cook dinner which is incredibly helpful and then I spend normally about another hour and a half to two hours in the evening just doing more the engaged tasks with the LPC so from the reading that I did in the morning and the notes that I took I then can go in and do the engaged tasks which that content relates to in the evening. As I have said over on my Instagram, I'm actually really behind with my LPC work and I'm trying to claw back as much as I can. It isn't easy. There is so much content to get through. However, I think if you prioritize either the prepare or the engage tasks, then you will be practicing the same stuff. You're just looking at different scenarios. So as long as you do either or, and then make good notes, then you kind of can claw it back, or at least that's what I'm finding that I'm doing now. And it is definitely working a little bit better and not stressing me out the fact that I have so much to get through all the time. After finishing my studies, I then sat down with my partner and had some dinner and we watched something on the TV. We sometimes do then watch a movie together or chill out together. However, this evening I wanted to edit a YouTube video. This is a really nice way for me to completely switch off from work and study and do something creative. I think from having a previous creative career, I love to be able to get out that creative energy at times. So editing YouTube videos is actually really nice for me. And yes, I film law related content but it's just nice for me to be able to edit and stuff like that. That is it. This is all I did for the rest of the evening. I then switched off about 9pm, got into bed, read a book and went to sleep. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like if you have found it interesting and go and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.